The bolt on the left is part of a $150 kit available from Rocky Mountain Bicycles. The bolt on the right is a $4 stainless steel shoulder bolt from my local Lowe's. Because I'm in a pinch and I want to ride this weekend, we're going to find out if it's an acceptable substitute for the fancy factory hardware. However, we do need to salvage one part of it. That flange at the top is a key part of the original 10mm pivot bolt. So what I'm doing here is drilling through the hex head with a 10mm bit. When my bit hits the body of the bolt, we should be able to remove just the flange by itself. So this is my Lowe's bolt here. I've drilled out the original hardware and we're going to use the top of that original hardware. Got a couple little stragglers hanging on there, so I am going to uh, deburr that and um, just wind it a little bit with my uh, Dremel tool here. That's it. So now I can show you why I went through all that hassle. So we've got our chainstay here. The chainstay is shaped like the end of the old bolt. And I don't want to put this flat head bolt in here and then have all the force on the outer surface of the chainstay pivot area. So we can put this through and this will now distribute the load while the Lowe's bolt holds the whole, th whole thing in tension. Last thing I'll have to do is just cut this to length. It's a bit too long. All right, moment of truth here. Yes. Beauty. All right. First ride back on the repaired Rocky. You know, this bike has always had a creek, or it's had a creek for months at least, as long as I've owned it. Now the creek is gone. So I'm guessing that bolt has been on its way out for quite some time. We're in the uh, highest mode, raging uphill. No creeks, no groans, no problems at all. All right, so I just, uh, just beat the crap out of this thing for the last 10 miles. Just sending it at every square edge rock, um, every gnarly rock garden pounding through full speed. And uh, no complaints yet from the new bolt. Uh, still staying tight. Um, no creaks, no groans. Seems to be having a great time. What do you think, buddy? All right, after 30 miles of trail riding, let's take a look and uh, conclude. I should find my ratchet. Okay, so 30 miles of hard trail riding. No real signs of wear on this Lowe's bolt. I was concerned about it being soft maybe because it's stainless. You know, I, I think the other one is probably a hardened aluminum. If you were to replace every bolt on this bike, with hardware store bolts, it would be a significant weight increase for just one bolt and especially the main pivot. I'd argue this is a pretty good solution. The little homemade washer, still intact. I was concerned about this cracking because of the stresses that, would be, that were gonna be put on such a small aluminum washer, but yeah, no problems here. And like I said, no creaks or groans with the bike. Everything seemed to work well. Suspension felt great. It felt stiff. So to be honest, if you're willing to spend a little bit of time and do some DIYing, I would say this is a pretty good solution. I'm gonna leave this in there. I'm gonna ride it for another couple months and uh, just keep an eye on it. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.